When the spinal cord is compressed, enlarging the spinal canal may be necessary to improve spinal cord function. This can be performed from the back of the neck with a posterior cervical decompression. The surgery requires removal of the spinous process and lamina at the compressed levels. Unfortunately, removal of this bone can lead to malalignment and or instability. To prevent this, we often will also perform a fusion. We can accomplish this through an anterior approach, a posterior approach, or both. When a posterior decompression is performed, a posterior fusion is a convenient and effective option. Posterior fusion requires stable fixation, often utilizing screws that we place into your vertebra plus rods connecting the screws. The existing bone in the back of your neck is prepared and frequently bone graft is placed over this. Over time, your body incorporates the bone graft, forming a solid bridge of bone, connecting the fused levels. Some benefits of fusion include stabilization of unstable segments, improved alignment, and potential improvement in neck pain. The primary drawbacks of fusion are loss of motion at the fused segments and added stress over time to the preserved segments above and below your construct. Laminoplasty is also a surgical treatment we perform to decompress the spinal cord from a posterior approach. The procedure involves cutting completely through the lamina on one side of the spine and partially through the lamina on the other side of the spine. The partially cut side behaves like a hinge, while the completely cut side is open, similar to opening a door at its hinges. By opening the door, so to speak, the spinal canal is enlarged. This space is maintained by placing small plates and screws on the open side of the lamina. An advantage of laminoplasty over fusion is that the motion at the operated levels is preserved while the decompression is still achieved. Laminoplasty is often avoided in patients with significant neck pain before surgery, as studies have shown that this procedure can make neck pain worse. There is also increased risk for male alignment after the surgery when performed in patients with pre-existing male alignment and when too many levels are included. Your doctor will help decide if posterior cervical decompression and fusion is right for you, or if laminoplasty is the best course of treatment for your unique case.